Whew. Uh, Clay? Yo. Um, how frustrating was a loss like this? I mean, it looks like uh, you guys, every chance you guys got to get close against Detroit, they would come back and, and nail a big shot after you guys would cut the lead to like three or one. Well, it never feels good. Uh, I thought we fought really, really hard tonight. I think the story, I mean, we fought very hard and put it, gave ourselves a chance to win it. Uh, Bay made an incredible shot, so credit to him. But just a uh, hard fought, gutsy effort, and I'm really proud of every single man who played. I mean, five wins in a row at home. Uh, hopefully we can bounce back Saturday and another one in a couple days after that. So we have a great opportunity to really uh, finish great on this last home stretch. What do you think Jordan can learn from, from some of these late game situations where the burden is more on him than, than he's ever had before? Well, I told him at the, uh, in the locker room, there's a reason I threw hit the ball in the end of reg or toward the end of regulations because he's like that. He's a clutch player. He's a shot creator. And we would not have been on this win streak without him. So I uh, know that, we, I mean, shoot, we all go through those. Uh, lapses early in our career. I mean, I remember missing two free throws against the Nuggets when I'm my second year and just leaving the arena in my uniform. So it's like, so it's like, we all got to go through it. Steph went through it, and um, Jordan. We're going to continue to trust him with the ball in his hands because he's uh, like an engine that makes us go. Clay, how uh, how confused were you and everybody else when Draymond all of a sudden is? gone from the game with about a minute plus ago coming out of that timeout. Yeah, it was unfortunate because Draymond is such an important piece of what we do. But um, still could have had a chance to win. And uh, yeah, sucked. He, he got kicked out. I mean, but um, it's not his fault we lost. Like, we had a great chance to win. Clay, you guys sold out Chase Center again tonight, despite all the what's going on with the weather outside. Um, what are your thoughts on all the fans who brave that storm just to be here tonight? Uh, I hope they get home safely. That's the most important, but um, they were great, you know, this whole run. And I know they will continue to be. We appreciate their energy. Uh, they've helped us will, will us to wins. Um, this whole season, and there's a reason why our record's so great at home is because it's a reflection of the energy that we feed off from them. Can you drive your boat through a storm like this? I could, but that's just not ideal. I mean, have you seen the perfect storm? It doesn't end well, so I'm not trying to do that. But she is a beast, but yeah, it's just too bumpy. Obviously, development isn't linear, and for Jordan to kind of go through these growing pains that you mentioned you also went to early in your career, just how do you help a young guy get through this? He was obviously really disappointed in himself after that turnover with six seconds left. Uh, you just tell him it's going to be all right and continue to work hard, and there's a reason is that he's an NBA champion. We would not have that banner without Jordan's efforts, so... It's just about sticking to the process and working your absolute hardest, and the work will, will reveal itself. So I have no worries about Jordan. Um, I think we're much better than our record reflects, and we're not even whole yet. So uh, we have a lot of great basketball ahead of us, so it's not time to hang our heads. You, you mentioned early in your career, you know, walking home after a, a Nuggets loss. Do losses like this sting more, particularly regular season losses, sting more early in careers? When yes. Why do you think that is? Because you want to be so great every night, and you have a high expectation of yourself. I know Jordan does. I do as well. Um, and you just expect to be great, even if it's you know unrealistic to do for 82 games. You still want to be your best, and it never feels great when you go home after a game and you feel like you could have done this differently and could have helped us win. But that's just a part of being an athlete is uh, the ups and downs and embracing that journey. Clay, do you feel like uh, Ty Jerome and Anthony Lamb kind of transformed your bench and your offense and just the spacing with the, with the ability, uh, you know, they, they can shoot? 
Yeah, they've been great. I mean, two two-way players, incredible. Those guys are bona fide NBA players, and I give our front office credit. They just do such a great job of finding guys to plug in our system and Anthony's ability to score tonight off the dribble, on the catch. Same with Ty to get in the paint, facilitate. So they've been awesome, and they're going to play a huge role for us this year, and I'm just proud to be their teammate. Teammates. Uh, Clay, al along those lines, I mean, a guy like Dante and, and these, these two two-way players, months from now, can you look back maybe at this stretch and say those guys grew, they were thrown into the fire and they it, it, no choice, and they, they did these things, and, and when, when you're in a playoff game later, and yeah. you can count on these guys uh, even more so. Yeah, no question. I mean, we're without two all-stars, I mean, an MVP, so... Those guys have stepped up so much. Even PBJ tonight making big shots. Moses, um, everyone's playing their role and getting better on the fly to be so young and thrown on a defending champion team and ex people expect you to be great. It's a big toll to take and those guys are embracing it. And I mean, we're gonna look back in a few months and I know how important this stretch will be because it's we're still, we're above 500 finally and I mean, might be only five, six games out of first, so we can make a run for it. I know we can, and this will be this run was vital to that. Clay, um, are you starting to feel the effects? I guess of so many guys being out, like in particular on that last possession. Probably who was on the floor wouldn't be who would typically be on the floor closing. So, how do you handle like maybe communication lapses and things like that when you have so many different guys playing? I don't feel that because we're all pros here and no one blames anybody else. We all take responsibility for how we play. And I play the same way every time I step on the court. I'm aggressive, I play my hardest, and I have fun with it. And uh, I try to lead, especially when Steph's not out there, Andrew's not out there, I try to just lead by example. And we're building so much great chemistry right now, I know how it's gonna pay, pay off so greatly come a few months when it's really winning time. Steve mentioned that fatigue from the last game going to double overtime might have rolled over to this one. Um, with you playing so many minutes the last game and then playing however many you played tonight, I mean, did you feel tired out there? And just how does your body feel at this point <clears throat> in the season? I feel incredible. I'm almost a year anniversary to when I came back in the NBA. So I couldn't be happier. and. There might have been some fatigue factor, especially mentally when you go to a double OT. This point in the season, not much rest time in between. But, you know, I'm glad. I'm super proud of the way everybody fought tonight. It wasn't pretty. We are right there, right there to continue this win streak. Just got to start a new one. Nope. 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 <laughs>